along with his own and two defibrillator, he would have received a set of electrodes. It would look something like this. It's a CPR stat pads. These are adult electrodes with real CPR help. So, and these are a multifunction pad. With these pads, you can do defibrillation, cardioversion, non-invasive pacing, ECG monitoring, as well as CPR feedback. As you can see, with Zoll, there's a lot of pictures that help guide you along. Inside your pack, you've got a set of pads with an accelerometer, a sternum pad, and an apex pad. You also have a cable that you would now plug into your multifunction cable on your device. If we open these pads, if we open the pads up, <coughs> As per the picture, you have your apex pad and you have your sternum pad along with your accelerometer. What is the accelerometer? This is what gives you your dev device, your feedback in terms of your quality of your CPR. And this will measure your depth, your rate and your recoil. And it will show it as a value on your, on your device when you're busy with defibrillation. Place this onto the patient, we hold the red tab in one hand and we simply peel off and then place it onto our patient. How do we place it onto the patient? Another good question. As you can see, we have placed our apex pad on the left hand side of the patient. We've placed the right hand or the sternum pad at the top. And that is centered by your puck. And on the puck you see this red line, or red cross, which is in line with the midline of the patient and in line with the nipple line of the patient. When you place that, this pad will be placed and set in the correct position as and when needed. Our cable then gets connected. To a multifunction cable. which is removed from the paddles. So remember, when we did our checks, we wanted to make sure this was clicked in properly. Well, we remove this from the paddles, and you will see that on your cable is another little puck. This is your CPR feedback puck. So we connect this top out, we slide in and once again we've got a click on that side. We then take the other end of our pads and we connect it to the puck. An important thing to remember, this provides the CPR feedback from your pads to the device. Should for some reason you lose this puck. You can still use the pads and connect it to your device by just separating it into that section on the on the cable and making sure that that connector now sits and is connected to the pads correctly and is in firm and in no way is this easily going to detach from the cable. Whilst you can use it like this. The only difference is you won't have your CPR feedback as this is the device that helps bring that data from the pads to the device to provide you the CPR feedback as you would have seen when we did defibrillation, how we measured our rate and our depth. It was this little device. But if this for some reason gets lost, you are still able to use the device and the pads. And that is how you set up your pads for your patient. When we are doing CPR, we need to make sure that our hands are positioned on the accelerometer. So we place our hand on top when we start doing compressions because the movement of this going up and down 
is what sends feedback to our device. So it'll send back the depth that we're going, the rate that we're going, as well as to make sure that there's enough recoil 